forgive me, chat, for I have sent. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Welcome back in. Do you know what today is? <laughs> I'm also like just so like everybody understands the kind of mood that I'm in um <laughs> just so we're all tracking um I just felt like starting a little chaos today so Anna has always sent me like gifts and whatever the Instagram reels and I never respond to them and it's like a meme at this point that I never respond and so I finally for the first time just said haha in response to one and she thinks that the apocalypse is coming but no it is um <clears throat> the first day of pumpkin dream. <laughs> the first day. Actually, it might have been yesterday. I think it was today. I don't know. I saw a thing. But I just... <laughs> no, it's not pumpkin. No, it's not McDonald's. It is pumpkin. It's not McDonald's. Um, Real quick, Anon with the gifted sub to Red Hood. Riddleson, thank you so much for the resub for two months in a row. <laughs> I just thought I would like let you guys know that when we get into Mass Effect, I am not responsible for the actions that occur today because I just feel like I'm in one of those moods. Like I feel like the cat tossing things off of the table kind of moods, you know? Hey, and on, thank you for the gift of stuff to Ankle, to Gavin, to Jink. I don't know why we're, I'm not hearing anything. Are you guys hearing? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Young Windy, welcome in. Natty, welcome back in. All my mods, hello. Many HR complaints, probably. Probably lots of HR complaints, you guys. Because it's spooky season, this is like my favorite spooky season flannel. Like, this is it. Look at that. Ignore the other flannel in the back. I'm ready for fall. All right, I am ready. Unokay, hi. I see overzealous Nat, Natty. Natty, thank you so much for the reset for 15 months in a row as well. Is it chilly and windy today? But I busted out the tea. All right, well, cheers to that. I'm also going to add to the atmosphere. I got a pot. <laughs> it's also a fall time candle from Target. Okay, hold on. I'm just embracing my total basicness right now. But this is this is true love right here. Oh, it smells so good. It's so perfect. So we got that. We've got this. This is a pumpkin latte. Not a pumpkin spice latte. Not to be confused with a pumpkin spice latte. Max. What? Max, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. And also Hibachery, welcome back in. Robofire, thank you for the follow. I got a nice bonus today, so enjoy some subs. Max, thank you so much for the generosity and congratulations. That sounds amazing. It's always nice when that happens as like a surprise. Did you know it was coming or was it a complete surprise? Um, and thanks for just paying it forward. And I hope that anybody that just got a gifted sub from Max, um, I hope you guys enjoy it and welcome back in. Ryan, so do I also have Uggs on? You know, I only recently got a pair of Uggs and I actually don't love them. They're not my favorite. London with the hundred bits. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that? Uh, I might have to switch to my earbuds. I have not charged my headset. No, Mr. Welcome back in. And Nanti, Mossel's here. Mossel, welcome back in. What's your favorite holiday? <sighs> I'm so like split between October and Christmas. I would have to say, oh, but I love Thanksgiving. Can I pick all three? Can I pick the... The Trinity? Can we do like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas? I feel like you've got to go with all three of them. Reason, welcome back in. Kava's here. T sub, work and stream. Doom breed, welcome back in. Sean, hold on, guys. Also, with the change of season, my allergies are freaking out on me. So I gotta go. Hold on. I gotta go. Except, I'm gonna be honest, I'm rocking this weird look right now. Because I'm wearing. Okay. I'm going flannel and business on the top, but then I have shorts on. <laughs> so I'm still wearing shorts. Owen, what's up? Welcome back in. No, I'm just gonna have to change my headset. Hold on. I know it's like hard to hear me. I just gotta change my headset. Owen, welcome back in. Cat Dad, welcome back in. Southpaw's here. Southpaw, how's it going? I see T Sub. I saw Doom. Sean again. Y'all with a scam tram. What is happening? I don't know what's going on today. I'm going to try to do another long stream, but I'm going to be honest. My eyes feel super sensitive to the light today. I don't know why. I was trying to record earlier and I felt like I was getting a splitting headache. Can we have a trilogy of holiday adventure movies like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas? What would be the thing? Oh, Charlie Bound Thanksgiving. The natural yeah. world is the greatest. Guys, what's up? Welcome in. The yeah. The second being maggot. 
Jack. In her natural habit of paying particular to attention, attention to, to the side costs of this adventure. Oh my goodness. It's good. It's good. Oh my gosh. Hold on. What if, what if, what if, what if we dipped the apple cider donut in the pumpkin iced tea? It's a chai. It's like a pumpkin chai tea. Oh, and I am. I am, guys. If it's any surprise, I ended up crying during the recording today. So maybe you know where I got to. Maybe you don't. But uh, tears were definitely shed in today's recording. I'll tell you that. I have no idea what David Attenborough is saying there. Wait, you can't hear it? Is it too quiet for you guys or something? All right, I saw that. I saw Mossel. Mevers, welcome back in. Hold on. I'm trying to do some, some things. Some thing things. I don't understand it. I mean, the natural habitat. It's, it's like he's... Do I really have to explain this to you, Great. There's no way I have to explain this one. That's his thing. He's always explaining like animals in the wild or stuff. And it's me and my natural habitat paying particular attention to the side quests. <laughs> Verna Joe, what's up? Welcome back in. Jaeger's here. Also Anon, welcome in. I saw Ryan. Pumpkin chai cider. That's pretty much what it is. Oh, hard cider. I don't think I've had hard cider, but I'm thinking about dipping the donut in this. But I also feel like that's a sugar overload. I'm not quite sure. Also, Gus, thank you. I think I already thanked you, but thank you for the follow and welcome in. I see Raj, Master Da Vinci, Natty, Curious Corner is here. If Maggie, wait, wait, if Maggie goes where I think she is, she's going to hit 50 HR complaints today. What did we leave off on doing? I know that sounds crazy, but it's been a while. It's been a few days. Yesterday, it was too late. I couldn't watch the stream, but wait, wait, but what happened? We honestly, I realized like I looked back this morning and I'm sorry, I felt like I kind of dipped out really quickly, but Ginger was being grumpy and I just wanted to kind of give her my like just complete attention for the final hours of her birthday. Donuts and cider in chai tea. No, no, no. Yeah, it's apple cider donuts. You have no idea how hype I am that you're going to reach 50 complaints today. It's not going to happen. Not today. It might happen at some point, but not today. The song triggers endorphins and makes me instantly happy for a great stream. I'm so glad that you guys still feel that way. I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that don't love the song, but it just makes me so happy nonstop every time I hear it. And I also kind of stopped listening to it like off stream. I kind of let it be like the treat stream for me. Dip the donut. It might be gross, but you wouldn't know until you tried it. Okay, plant boy, we're going to dip it at the very end. Or maybe I should go, I don't know. Oh, Mixer, thank you for the follow as well. And AVS, has it only been two months? The important second month, it is. The important one, of course. They're all important. What do you mean? AV, thank you so much for two months of continual support. And I see zero is here. Zero with the PP for Baldur's Gate 3. Honestly, Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of coming out of the gates with a strong a strong pee pee purple iron welcome back in dark star jink classy flynn's here i saw a muscle mm -hmm. anon anon thank you so much for the gifted sub to david and anon also with the gifted sub to mick quackleton and maverick with the hunter bits guys <laughs> maverick thank you for the hunter bits i really appreciate it we're cut the, the command you haven't seen it that is not an HR complaint already. I can't have an HR complaint until the game's on the screen. But if you guys are new here, welcome in. I want to say this is day five or six of doing Mass Effect. So it has been since Sunday. I think Sunday was the last time. Monday. Monday was the last Mass Effect day. But I don't remember what we did. So I need to go back through and see. I think we're finishing collecting the rest of our companions, right? Rewatching the last ME2 VOD. I think we've been doing... We've been too hard on the HR complaints. Thank you. I agree with this. I feel like y'all's HR complaints are completely unwarranted and wrong calls. Okay, I saw Gavin. Immortal, welcome back in. Best auntie, hi. Glide path, hi. Great. I might have to, for the first time, wear like my blue light glasses or something, or I think I just need to take headache medicine. Last stream before I head out to Hotter and Hell bike ride tomorrow. Wait, is this the one? Wait, wait. How many miles is this one, Snap Alight? And also, welcome back in, guys. Thank you so much for another hype train right off the rip. I really appreciate it. Don't mind me. I'm on Red Bull. No, 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 no. Don't bring up energy drinks, you guys. This is as close as I'm going to get to it. 
blue lights and mass effect are a bit harsh at times also like the game itself yeah i think i'm kind of learning that i think i'm gonna have to figure out something else for my recording too because i think my my head just ends up hurting after depending on how long i record before i stream as well sometimes my head is just not it's just killing me by the end of it the wing bat wing bat thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row as well also i heard that you guys are trying to plot against me do you guys want to explain darpas do you want to explain what i heard in anna's stream today tetra tetra we tetra welcome back in tricky buzz is here eight bitter hello you have permission to oh <laughs> thank you ankle i see oh, the second the second month is the most important oh wait 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 i have to see this kevin i saw kevin hi frost wolves here man versus machine zook overzealous bench jockeys here also by the way okay the fact that you guys voted yes does nobody believe in me does nobody out there ice welcome back in cast is jealous of michael and moved him oh no he was moved for ginger stream and i forgot to move him back thank you for reminding me and petty welcome back in glide path i completely forgot ryan so does maggie also okay i'm so far behind surin's here katsuko hi glances at the heat index at 115 look the heat index it is not important okay inside in my head it is fall outside which by the way when i went hiking with my dad there actually were leaves falling and it was pretty cool so it felt like a fall day you know Klexa, hi, Master Funk's here. Master Funk, welcome back in. And Wingbat, again, thank you so much for four months. Hold on, I gotta see that again. Prime, welcome back in. Yeah, so I heard you guys were plotting against me. I need explanations right now. I voted no, but only due to your stubbornness being factored in. This is also true. Matthew, Christmas in my opinion. Rob, welcome back in. I, Easter? Easter kind of gets overlooked, but I will say that technically I feel like my favorite holiday should be Easter because I was born on Easter. Fun fact. Um, but I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's really important when you're a kid and I do like Easter. I just don't like the decorations for Easter. I'm not a big bunny person. I just, I think I love more like scarecrows and I love, oh, I love Christmas decorations too. Easter is all like eggs. Okay, I don't want to paint an egg. I'm going to paint a pumpkin. I don't want to paint 4th of July summer. I feel like I didn't get like a proper 4th of July celebration because I was actually flying over to England on 4th of July, which felt a little, you know, I thankfully I landed in London in the morning on the 5th, you know, so I wasn't quite backstabbing as I felt get an egg suit Ooh, <laughs> Christmas vibes. I also think like I love Christmas music and I love like really classics I don't know I just I think that there's no happier time for me than the memories I created with my family when we were when it was around Christmas time like truly I love bunnies you love bunnies <laughs> what do you have against the Easter bunny I just paint an egg to look like a pumpkin then paint that <laughs> Also, can we agree the food? I feel like my family never did like Easter din or um, like lunches or dinners. Like we would do like something, but it wouldn't be the same extravagance as Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner was so like legendary. And Anon with the gifted sub to Klexa and to Chris. Chris, Klexa, guys, thank you. Is that a new chair? No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, that's scary. I was like, wait, where? <laughs> I was like, I definitely had this on it. No, it's the same chair, but I am looking for a new chair right now. Also the movies. Yeah, name all the Easter movies. How many Easter movies are there? I like the old, well, I love A Christmas, so I love more than anything, just A Christmas Carol. I just love the story of being visited by, you know, the, the past, the present, and the future, but then also, like, I love the character arc, you know, and I just love that he comes out of it being so generous and his heart is full and, yeah, Tyre, welcome back in. Pastels are overrated. Also, yeah, Easter is all like pastels, isn't it? Glassy, whale whale, welcome in. Uh, hello, I see you're new to the stream. And also Anon with the gift is up to Rye. But I will say that October is my favorite for like outwardly celebrating with you guys. I think that's when y'all see the most crazy stuff happen. Christmas, I tend to be a little bit more like, we still have a Christmas tree, we still have decorations. Michael has his hat. Um, but outside, no, we make it cool with the 12 games of Christmas, right? It's whale times three. It's going to be whale times three. 
welcome in <laughs> are we re-watching die hard for the movie night you know i've never seen die hard and you guys keep trying to push this and i keep pushing back i refuse to believe just because a movie is set in christmas time doesn't make it a christmas movie i don't believe this okay i saw crash Furch, Furch, welcome back in i've been catching up on your ff7 playthrough and every ad break has taco bell in it i, I they're listening to me were we surprised no should i be getting yeah look y'all will be the first to know if i ever get a carhartt or a taco bell sponsorship because i will not be able to keep my mouth shut i will be over the moon i wish it were the case i do candidate pre-game hr <laughs> have a holly jolly die hard i guess we could watch it we didn't watch it one year i think you guys were really trying to push for it and i just didn't let it happen also perceptor welcome in and mick quack i see as well wait 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 wait! my wife and i enjoy watching on the daily thank you for being a breath of fresh air mr quackleton thank you so much for the kind words to you and your wife and i'm glad that you're enjoying the content wait how did you guys find like is it for mass effect or what was it that's so cool to hear cast it for the taco bell ambassador the ambassadorship maybe that's another thing too is i'm kind of screwing myself over by already talking about them so much because why why like i already talk about them why would they do anything die hard 10 out of 10 movie bruce willis great actor i haven't seen a lot of things with bruce willis in it i think favorite christmas movie oh i really okay so i'm is it bing I'm a Bing kind of girl, so I feel like I have to go with White Christmas. Plus, growing up where I did, I feel like I didn't have a lot of White Christmases, and so that's always been romanticized in my in my head. Snake Venom, welcome back in. And I also just love the dancing. I love everything about it. They're so cute. I watched Die Hard 1 every year for, on December for 20 years now. All right, maybe we finally have to. I also am more... Or Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, yeah. You use Bing? No, <laughs> I'm a Bing girl. <laughs> oh, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. And the very next day, Ginger ripped it away. Yeah, Disney Christmas Carol, then Elf, then Love Actually. Okay, hot take. I feel like Love Actually and Elf are overrated. I know, hot take. But I love some Will Ferrell movies, but sometimes after I've seen it once, I feel like I don't need to see it again. I know it's the hottest of takes. I know, I know. I'm sorry. That's fair. White Christmas is my wife's favorite Christmas movie. And the other Die Hard. Wait, wait. So her favorite Christmas movies, Bronx, are White Christmas and then the other Die Hard. That's so like polar opposites. Agreed though. Okay. Thank goodness someone else that thinks that. It's okay to say what you think and feel, guys. I know. I'm going to tell you guys if I don't like it or not. Why am I going to? Because then you guys are going to be like, oh, you love Elf. What's that one like quote? And I'm going to be like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Elf, I like, I like certain aspects of it. Like nothing will be bigger. <laughs> nothing to me will be as memorable as the, uh, the Jack in the Box. I just like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that will always be one of my favorite parts in it. <laughs> Snake Venom and Rhesus, thank you guys for the follow. And Maverick, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Work calls, gotta go, friends. Wait, cheers, friends. Oh, Maverick, have a good one. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you have a great Thursday. Guys, I hope maybe some of you guys have off tomorrow, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Will Ferrell is a fool. He's like our fool, though. I feel like a lot of people like him. Um, This is gonna be kind of weird. I just, I tend to not love the humor that him nor uh, there's another guy the one that you guys said ace ventura i um i'm not a big like outright goofy humor i love dad jokes i love that I, but i have to be in the right mood as i've gotten older when i was a kid i loved it yeah jim carrey when i was a kid i loved that kind of humor now that i've gotten older i tend to like the more uh just clever like clever and wittiness i love seeing like wit i think that's one of my favorite kind of movies to watch is when something's just clever clever girl like a sharp witty yeah but i'm trying to think what would what would be some movies that would kind of be like that nowadays what's the time in the u.s it is 4 25 depends on where you are though howie it's a wonderful life i'm 
I've never seen It's a Wonderful Life. And I need to. I think we talked about this last year and I love Charlie Brown Christmas. Yes, I do, I do. Howie, thank you for the 100 bits and welcome back in. Okay, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I die at though. Mostly because it also depends on the plot because that is centered around family and the ridiculousness of family. And if anybody has a fraction of a funny family, you know that the dynamics actually feel very similar to some of the things that present in that film. Like obviously they're ridiculous or like my family's tradition on my mom's side was we always watched a Christmas story. Also, I love how we just skipped Halloween and we're talking about Christmas right now. Adam Sandler, I actually, I actually do love Adam Sandler's films, which is interesting to like him, but not so much Will Ferrell. The Big Lebowski, I haven't heard of this. And also Quartermaster High. Um, Ray, I saw Good or Bad, It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> good or Bad. It's um, black and white, right? It's an older black and white. I think it came out, what year did it come out? Near the time of Miracle on 34th Street, I believe. Mm -hmm. I have to jump in. Everyone needs to watch It's a Wonderful Life. Maybe we'll do that and Die Hard. I know, I'm going to have foam lips. I love Adam Sandler, but I can't stand Will Ferrell. So there's a few of us. Okay, Urban. All right, I'm not alone here. All right, I am scrolling down. I'm gonna see, I saw, no, you can't start calling HR complaints. Frost Wolf, I, <laughs> we need to see what caused me to earn so many HR complaints. Also, Jimmy Tortellini, welcome in. I see it's your first time chatting. The Holiday is romantic Christmas movies. I'm sure you watched that one. Wait, The Holiday? Oh, okay. I love The Holiday because I love Jack Black. I think he's fabulous. I also really like, um, I mean, guys, Jude Law. Like, come on. I never saw myself as a Watson girl. I always was like, I feel like Sherlock is, you know, he's the man. But Jude Law had Watson looking kind of good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> He's too hot for his own good. <laughs> the all spark welcome in. I cried the last time I watched It's a Wonderful Life. It has like a, it has a, a more serious tone to it as well, right? I think I had heard that. And I don't know why my family never showed me that one. Infatuated with young Dumbledore. Mm. I mean, uh, didn't he? No, was it Jude Law? Who were the two guys? that played in ah uh, this means war chris pine and bane the guy that plays bane what is his name you guys are gonna tell me in a second oh my goodness that guy uh-huh tom hardy yes i forgot about tom hardy has he not been in a lot of stuff re recently I can't remember. Venom. He was Venom. Oh, I've never seen Venom, actually. Mad Max. I remember him in Mad Max. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. Fresh new slacks, by the way. Hi. I actually really liked This Means War. I thought that was hilarious. Quite a few other streamers are watching have the opinion that the second month is the most important, especially for Twitch Prime subscribers, as many people are willing to give a first month a try. Oh, but when they subscribe for the second time, that means that they want to stay and be a part of the community and aren't just visiting. AV, I've actually never thought about it like that but that's a really good point so what i'm saying is this is your formal letter of i am committing to this community i'm stuck here forever tom hardy's in bronson uh i don't think i've seen bronson yeah your family probably watched the hell out of it's a wonderful life and maybe i just didn't remember we always watched white christmas we always watched holiday I'm trying to think what else um I don't know. I bet you it's because it's a long movie too. I think It's a Wonderful Life is extremely long, right? Dirty, by the way, dirty eye. And I saw Own. It's nice because it brings all the family members together. Best time of the year for me, honestly. Which it begs the question, is it really just, are we only capable of bringing the family together at one time of the year? Because I think about it now more than ever, I feel like my family, I wish I could like get them together for something else, not just Christmas time. I feel like Christmas is like, this thing in everybody's head that it's like your duty to get together, you know? And I wish I could do it like more, I don't know, maybe I'll get them all together for my birthday. I'm gonna make it the annual Maggie birthday festivities and they all have to be there. Jam session, welcome back in. We actually, up until like two years ago, used to always meet up and do an escape room for my birthday and we haven't done an escape room in a while. It's a Wonderful Life is only two hours and 10 minutes. Yeah, for back in that time when that came out, that's a, um, that's not true. That's actually not true. There were a lot of movies that used to come out on two discs. 
Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Did when it came out, was it on one disc or was that movie on two separate discs or front and back? The front and back DVDs. Ray. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, that's a good point, Ray, but no, not a time I want to see my whole family. Sir Fresco, by the way, welcome in. Last Christmas. Pixie, I saw. Nightmare Before Christmas is fantastic, but we kind of do that during Halloween. I think we usually watched, didn't we watch that last year for Halloween? I think we did. I want to say we did because I try not to pick just horror movies. Christmas Story is a classic. We always watch it. The Leg Lamp. <laughs> also, did anybody else and currently does anybody else still have a fear? Not that, okay, after you reach a certain age, you're not actively, every once in a while I have an intrusive thought to lick a, like a frozen pole. But I just, you know, it's stuck in my head that it's going to get your tongue stuck to the pole. I feel like I was scarred as a kid for seeing that. Spurious, welcome back in. Oh, did you guys see, um, did you guys see the, the reboot? There was a second one. You'll shoot your eye out. Yes, but did you guys see the other one? I feel like I see how that sounded and looking back, that's going to be taken out of context and I don't like it. Anon, thank you for the gift of the solo and also to Jam Session. App, Apja, hi. You'll shoot your eye out. Still wanting to try. Ovaltine. <laughs> the Ovaltine. I really want to dread, by the way, Dread Pirate. Every time I see Dread Pirate, I just think of Princess Bride. I can't. Dread Pirate Roberts. Mmm. Bear with the gift of sub to Triple Dog Dare. <laughs> I triple dog dare you. Did uh did you guys see the second one that came out? I think I started to watch it and then I, I wasn't it wasn't my thing, so I actually stopped. Uh Princess Blight is a classic. We did actually watch that more recently, I think. As you wish. I um there is something about being a kid and seeing certain things in movies that always made you want to try it. And that giant chocolate coated thing that he like wraps around like he makes for him to bring him back to life. It always made me want to try it. I don't know why. <laughs> like it was the same thing as when I watched Ratatouille and he takes the bread or he takes the strawberry and he takes the cheese. When I was a kid, my mom bought strawberry and cheese so I could put them together and try it at the same time as the rat. It was just, it didn't taste good by the way. Did not taste good. <laughs> but it's just some of those things that you feel like you have to try. Bugs because of lion. Licking a frozen pole can freeze your tongue, but not a guarantee. But we need more data. Raw science. <laughs> Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings. I will. There's more quotes that I love from Lord of the Rings. I think that Tolkien is just I'm one of my favorite authors. The shit out of this. Thank you. Raj, that's fantastic, by the way. Thank you for creating that. Rats get whacked. One does not simply walk into my door, which is my doormat, by the way. <laughs> the only thing that influenced me to act like a fool. Wait, wait, act like a fool was what? I gotta scroll back down. I've missed so many of you guys. I see Rocker. All right, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Ham's here, Ham. A lot of movies back then had an intermission. Do you guys remember the long intermission of uh, Gone with the Wind? That had the longest intermission as a child. I remember just hating that intermission. Now I'm thinking of Two Blade Street. <laughs> Shall we do this dance again? <laughs> Street grind with the reset for 36 months, three years. Wow, three made it to three years. Same resub, same questions, same Maggie. No, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. What's been your favorite game from the year? Ooh, you didn't hey, see that coming, hey, did you? Hey, 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 hey. Aries, Aries, I didn't see that coming. Street, you gotta answer now. And also just thank you for the continual support for three whole years. Holy cow. I was literally gonna bring up Gone with the Wind. The intermission of Gone with the Wind was something else. But quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I love, it's so iconic. Mm. Survivor. Survivor. Mmm. Survivor's been your favorite, Paul. Ray, Boobamon. Wait, 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 wait. You said WWE influenced your brothers to try wrestling movies on me? I've never seen a wrestling movie, I don't think. The book was an absolute monster. I've always wanted to try to read it, but I've never committed to it. I know, I know. Do you know who the longest subscriber is? 
Yes, I do. I do. I do. I actually still have a few that have been sub to me for the entire time. Uh, but I don't know if you guys would recognize their name. Trivial came really close to being like here for the whole time, but he popped in a little bit after. Um, I believe the only, maybe the main surviving one is Chode. Chode. Yeah. Drink coffee. It's doing, I'm doing chai tea with the pumpkin. Kool-Aid, welcome back in. Check for flea. Monster book from Harry Potter. Um, they probably just forgot to unsub. No, they come back in. They come back in pretty frequently. Yeah. There's been a few people that have been here for over five years now. Outer as well. Outer was taught. Yeah, Outer was one of the first 10 as well. Outer was one of the first 10. I'm trying to think of the first 10. Um, am I getting my pumpkin kick in early? Guys, it's the first day that I hit the market. Of course, who cares about hitting it September 1st? Now we can hit it on August 24th. Five years, I'm just a baby. I'm just a small town. Um, no, it's, you know, cheers and here's to, I can only hope for like five more years, five plus more years, forever. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Evelyn, by the way. Your oldest sub is trying to get you those HR complaints. Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. I know, actually, that's a really damn good point. I knew it, too, before I said it. I knew it was going to come back up. All right, let's see. I'm going to retire right before I hit 10 years so I don't have to play Halo. It is true. 99 and also Vupix, guys. Thank you for the follows and welcome in. It will pick up in a second. Oh, no, it won't because I changed this yesterday. It's still stuck on uh, cat. It's stuck on cat. Nice. There we go. I thought pumpkin stuff didn't start till October. Okay, the rules changed. And now are you, you're behind. We've already had Christmas. Like, what do you mean? Christmas has already come and gone. Aries. Also, how did you make the Stormtrooper ice cubes? Um, how did I make them? Aries, thank you for the 100 bits. And Anon with the gift of sub to Ging Ginge Maniac. Um, I froze water in an ice tray. No, uh, when I went to TwitchCon, the lovely AJ gifted me the Stormtrooper Ice Cube set and also lightsaber chopsticks. The coolest gift. The coolest gift. I froze water. <laughs> Um, come here. I warned you guys that I'm feeling sassy today. I did. How many subscribers for a second ginger? What do you mean for a second ginger? What? How many subs for a second ginger to buy another ginger? Oh, there's only one of those, baby. Sorry. That is not. She's um one of a kind. Oi. Oi. The Petri dish, Ginger? I think you can clone your pets nowadays. I actually have heard of this. Maybe I've looked into it. Maybe I've saved a piece of her DNA for later. I don't know. Gluco, <laughs> Gluco, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row as well. Anon with the gifted sub to Max. Gluco, you lurky turkey. <laughs> Armor, welcome in as well. Yeah, no. Is it like 150 a pop? I thought it was like 20K. I was thinking it was only like the cost of a car. TJ, I'm behind on everything. I just finished God of War 2018, the beginning of this year, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, welcome to the behind on all gaming, okay? We're still... Come on, TJ. When did this game come out? Like, you, there is no shame here. That's why my eyes always ready. I have been putting... You've been boiling your water. <laughs> Roomba, Zoro, Poozley, welcome back in. Oi. Cass is planning on having five gingers running around. <laughs> the timing on that makes me stoked for it. What? What mission is on the docket first? Ooh, good point. Let's figure this out. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Pizza Cat, thank you for the follow. Bear with the gifted sub to Ginger Clone. <laughs> ginger Clone and overzealous with the gifted sub to Sass Effect. Jack, welcome back in. Zook. Mad scientist Casta. It will be uh, Casta's monster. The young, the young ginger. The young Frankenstein. 
It'll be an Abby normal. Derek, what's up? Welcome in. Wait, 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 wait. Cares? Cats? Cars? Cars? No, I thought it was like around the cost. You should wear your got loot socks for spooky season. I don't have the socks actually, but I'm bringing the socks back because I liked those socks. You can clone. What? Took his cat and then redug her up and cloned it? Yeah, but this goes back to, and actually this is interesting because we were having this conversation in the book club. I wouldn't do it no matter how much I love Ginger, obviously for multiple reasons, but just like, let's just say for the sake of it, I am thinking about doing it. I wouldn't do it because I feel like she is a product of her upbringing, you know, like her nurture. And she was born in it. Like she was born and bred in hard times okay she was a little kitty in a household of chaos and madness she was molded in the chaos of three kids growing up okay that has had some effect on her so even if i cloned her she wouldn't be herself you know she who knows how she'd be maybe she'd be cooler actually maybe i could take her for walks i don't know she was bored <laughs> you merely adopted it the difference between character and personality basically exactly exactly uh javi by the way thank you for the follow and yeah we're reading dark matter right now and it's been a fascinating book and actually the the last conversation kind of touched on that and it's so cool like having this book kind of talk about what ifs you know like because i'm sure it's gone through our brain at some point in time what if I had done this route? You know, like I think about that sometimes. I'm like, what if I had stayed with my other job and quit streaming? Like, I don't know. Would I, where would I be? What would I be doing? How far are you in Project Hail Mary? We're done. Project Hail Mary is done. We're doing Dark Matter. It's really good. Gotham, what's up? Welcome in. Yeah, the Dark Side Saren. Dark Side Saren. All right. So, yeah, maybe in another, maybe in another no, universe, Saren's actually a good guy, you know? The butterfly effect. Sonya, hi. Indigo, welcome back in. The story and characters are super good. Wait, are you reading it, Indigo? Mm. Shinobi, hi. All right. Why is pumpkin so good? It has no business being this good. All right, y'all. If you are new here, welcome in. Like I said, we are doing Mass Effect 2 on Hardcore. This is about day four or five or six one of the above um and we are currently rocking and rolling with almost all of our crew so i would say for today i want to go ahead and collect most of the rest of the crew and then do i'm thinking saturday we do an entire stream dedicated to their side quests and then we'll get back on their main mission quests as well Ben Shockey, I appreciate the kind words. I really do. Oh, and that's just a good point, guys. If I miss you, because I know I have, welcome back in. Thank you for being here, all the lurky turkeys. Um, and yeah, just happy Thursday. Tali. Yes, so last stream we picked up Tali. We picked up Nat. Please, please join the book club. Absolutely. And also, if you only, like, you are welcome to join the book club and you don't have to be there for every meeting. You can just read it. Some people read it and don't even join the book club. Um, you know, here's, or the discussions. Here's looking at Bear. But, um, yeah, no, definitely, like, feel free to pop in and, like, listen or read the books as we go along. Broadway, welcome back in. Yeah, some of us are listening to audiobooks. I'm listening to the audiobook of Dark Matter right now, actually. Yeah, I did the loyalty, the legacy missions recently. And it was the loyalty missions. Yeah, I think that they're a little bit, um, all of their missions have a little bit heavier tone to it. So I think we'll do that on Saturday. So I really want to go around and uh, finish getting all of our crew. Also, I got mad shade from y'all for saying that usually people don't take this long before they go back to the Citadel. So I probably should go to the Citadel today. Next month is your birthday. 30 is the new 20. It's 30, flirty, and thriving. What do you mean? I also agree with that. I definitely think so. Mm, I have not gone to the Citadel yet. I haven't. I know. Right now, while streaming, <laughs> I'm listening to it as we speak. <laughs> when I have time to get to read, I will. Absolutely, yeah. And always, like, you can... Um, I have a section on my Instagram so you can see what book we're reading and I often will post updates. We're reading some shorter books coming up here and we're doing one for spooky season. I think we're going to pick up Dracula or Frankenstein. We kind of want to do a classic. 
So, uh, Mariah, thank you for the follow. And AJ, just a quick hello to wish you a wonderful stream. You missed it. I just said, I was just talking about, did you see my story? I had the, um, the ice cubes, but yes. And also hello, Jonathan. I hope you have a fabulous, it's his birthday, right? Yeah. Mosul, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. So yeah, we grabbed Thane. We got Thane and we got Tally last stream. And then we did some other random side quests. So we're done with that. We're done with that. Alrighty. So we will do loyalty missions. I think we should go to the, let's go. Yeah, shall we go? Shall we go to the Citadel? Yeah, Melspot, please do. Yeah, um, if you guys are interested in joining it, just hop into the Discord. You'll see a section that says book club joining and then just plop your name in that and a mod will add you to the the other uh, hidden roles. All right, we'll see. Still no thriving, Zook, no. 30, flirty, and thriving. 30, flirty, and thriving. I haven't seen that movie in a really long time. All right, where we need to go to citadel serpent nebula all right let's go oh also we could go to earth too i'm gonna try to make the next one are you reading dark matter yeah mel spot yeah and also whenever we're in the middle too you guys are welcome to just join and listen to the conversations um london thank you for the gifted sub to indigo as well thank you frankenstein depresses me mary shelley wrote it at 18? Wait, 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 wait. She wrote it at 18. Wait, 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 hold on. Mary Shelley wrote that at 18. I need to do more with my life. That's why it depresses you because they, wait, they wrote it at 18? I didn't know that. Bram Stoker? I'm, I'm leaning more towards, I, I mean, I love Frankenstein and I'd love for us to watch a young Frankenstein during the Halloween, but I'm leaning more towards reading Dracula. I think it'd be cool. All right, to the Citadel. Also, let me refuel too. No need, but we do need some probes, y'all. It takes two to make a thing. Do you do classics? So we always switch up the type of book. We have done issue getting in the Discord. We have done before I hit this. I'm gonna kind of like wait, wait, wait. Is there someone I can talk about? Yeah, can one of the mods reach out to Mr. Bats? Um, they're having a difficult time getting the Discord. Um. Yes, Rain Man, I agree. And yeah, for anybody, just real quick, before we dive into the game, if you are interested in joining the book club, we meet pretty much every other Wednesday and we have discussions on it just for about an hour. So we meet with that. I'm sorry, we don't have any cookies at the meetings, but yeah, we started that. We have now gone through sci-fi. We've done a fantasy. So we did Mistborn. We've done we're doing Dark Matter right now. We did Project Hail Mary. We're doing a classic in October. So we always try to go through different um, different genres and stuff like that. So no cookies. I'm out. <laughs> Master Punk, hi. And also, yes, AJ, have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a BYOB. It's a bring your own brookie. Exactly. Exactly. Shadow, I will say that I think the audiobook has kept me interested in Dark Matter. It's very, uh, it's very confusing at times, to say the least. Okay, here we go. Supposedly constructed by the long extent, extinct Protheans, which is not true, right? Suppose, and that's why I guess they changed the, the wording to be supposedly. This colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Let's go. Do brookies get better with tea or coffee? Probably coffee, depending on the tea, but I would say probably coffee. Permission to enter the atmosphere. Like, what are the commands? I wish we heard the commands as they're like docking. We did do a mystery. We did a mystery, but I feel like we kind of flopped on that pick. It was the one that everybody picked. So the group picks the book was not my favorite. I think it wasn't a lot of people's favorite, to be fair. Spazzy, remind me, did you like that one? 
It took me a while to visit the Citadel. Thank you, Kraya. Everybody's out here making me feel wrong for not visiting the Citadel yet. Okay. Cerberus on Citadel? Oh, uh, we're walking in with new new body. Well, same bot same body, new life. No, same life. New me, new ship, new crew. Who dis? I think I'm gonna go with. I gotta go with my new characters. I love Morden. I wanna see Thane's opinion. I gotta take Morden. He's my favorite. You weren't a fan of it either. Ah, I thought the mystery was decent. Oh, it was a seven out of 10. Yeah, it was different. It was just a different book all around. Oh, your mom ended up reading Thursday night and said that sequels were better. I did see the sequels when I was at Barnes and Noble the other day. I was tempted, but not enough. <laughs> I kinda wanna do Tally. You're the only person I know who took this long to go to the Citadel? Well, I wouldn't be me if I wasn't taking the longest route possible to have results or to get to things that you guys normally do. <laughs> Zmonia, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. The Reapers, exactly. All right, I actually do have some skill points. I believe I was gonna finish Assault Mastery for my overall damage. Yes, Destroyer and Champion. I want us to go back to an Agatha Christie, I do. Who's the author of Dark Matter? It's a good question. That is a really good question. I don't know it off the top of my head like Andy. Um, Andy Weir I knew for, but I think his name is pretty easy to remember. Blake Crouch. He crouches. Thiago and Sad Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. I, I'm a book, like I'm reading this one on Audible, but I actually like having the physical copy. I know, I try to go to like a, um, a used bookstore first, but some of these books aren't popping up. So the differences are, we're getting more health with champion, less damage, oh, okay. I need my eyes. Um. Weapon damage versus weapon damage, but health. I'm gonna go destroyer. Yeah, your weapon inflicts even more damage and you receive a damage bonus to biotic powers. I actively am using my biotics a lot more than I have in the past game. Power recharging time and Paragon and Renegade scores are improved still further. You receive a bonus to, ooh, okay. Mmm, I'm not sure. Never joined the book club, but tried to read it. Couldn't get into it. Yeah, that one across the board was kind of kind of a, a miss for I think the overall club as a whole. I think everybody really, really liked Mistborn and um, Project Hail Mary. I'm gonna go Destroyer. In my hot of hearts. Morden, look at him, he's so cute. I don't know who I like better. All right, these guys are good. All right, to the Citadel, to the beaches. Movie Mango, hello. Hmm. I go 100% pick up Paragon Renegade. I don't know if I'll even hit 100% with those. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. What? A free gift? You know, I normally would go to a library and just think about renting the Got book. Problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. The collectors? But I, uh, I just have a dream of having a wall of books. In... Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Keepers. They're still here. Creatures, genetic constructs adapted to work. I didn't Citadel. think that they'd still be Couldn't here. Survive outside. Shanya, I wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. Hmm. Oh man, Carlos, that's a. I have to go with the Lord of the okay, Rings really? trilogy or the Hob the Hobbit as a book, like a solo stopping. book. Maybe the Hobbit. Who is ta who is this? Is it? It's not the Hanar. Shepherd, you do have the password, right? The sound is coming from over here. <laughs> what? Who is talking to me? Commander Shepherd, enter the password and receive a free gift. I want this free gift, but I don't know. Whenever I come over to, can I help you, ma'am? That's not her. Who is this? <laughs> no, no, no. No, thank you. Just passing through. No, Next. no, no. Is it the Hanar? Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. It has to be a... Hold on. What is this? Galactic Two News? The oh. Of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet I know you guys hear <laughs> The library with a fireplace. Pass. Yes. The human alliance maintains a majority share of forces. 
I know. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Am I getting, I'm getting scammed. I'm getting scammed. <laughs> I'm getting scammed. <laughs> Didn't they say my name though? Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? How many times can I walk by without stopping? <sighs> Shepard, you do have the password. Oh my. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. She was flaming me too. Cut the crap. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. I don't wanna. I told you guys, I told you guys going into this, I was like my, I, today is the day. Have you been briefed? Why the secrecy, you and Cerberus? Let's head out. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Not good. Honestly, I'm, I'm unwell. Honestly, I'm didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. You are hard to find. I thought this was just like, um, I don't know. Like, not, I don't know. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. This feels super I also public to, to be sure doing this. this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander <laughs> Shepard. I just feel like this is a really weird spot to be having like a kind of secretive conversation, you know? That's my only thing. You even read the quest text without telling you how to find the exact advertisement. If I read it, like, bear with me, you guys. Literally, bear with the gift of sub to Taco Bell Thursday. And EXE, thank you for the posture check. There are many a times, and I'm sure you guys have picked up on this, that I read it, I can look at it, I can make eye contact with something, and I still, it just doesn't enter my brain. Um, I've got too many things on my mind when I'm midstream. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they trying? were looking for someone to join you on an important mission and we're offering a serious signing bonus. I I'll had a thing that. I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. She be stealthy? Wait, what deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. Oh. And I'm planning to get it back. She been standing above me this whole time, investigate? Heist? Kasumi's partner. I wasn't trying, I wasn't actively avoiding the Citadel. I don't know why I didn't go, I guess. I was just distracted. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. Oh. You want to look presentable. Our thief friend hacked our communication and only we and- Oh, you think only we can hear this? That would kind of make sense. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? But now I look crazy Mr. talking Hawk to nothing. He's a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Mmm. Oh wait, go. Expecting I doubt trouble. Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. <laughs> Don't you know I was calibrated? What do you mean? Yes. Gray box. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. I do. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret oh. codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. This is not helping my Hawk eyes. Killed him. Kasumi's partner. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, oh. he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. <gasps> Dude, can I not hear this? Should I not be looking up? A lot of people start with Cerberus and then go to the Citadel just to see the reaction. It is weird that I didn't think about that. I guess my first thought was finding my old crew. I didn't think about rubbing it in the faces of the Citadel. Yeah. Mm, it was just the indoctrination. Uh, what did he say? Only if there's time. 
What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Oh, that's so now much. those memories are all that's Finding Rex. I was trying to find Rex. I, I really can understand was. understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. This, um... The lighting here with the stuff is not it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for that's that. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. And then It'll we'll get fun. her. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. So I think she's got biotics as her? Oh, yeah, you We right. should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See? You're on the ship, Shepard. I told you. I said it. I told you. Humanity's always in trouble. Can we have time where they're not in trouble? Travel to Beckenstein. Beckenstein. It's Beckenstein. More glittering than diamonds. More expensive than surgery. Is how travel agents describe the planet behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonize planets after the first contact war, the System Alliance chose Beckenstein to be their trading arm, producing goods to be sold on a nearby citadel. Cracking the vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human product sold on novelty alone, then lack of demand hit Beckenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet find sustainable niche in high quality entertainment and goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked to Beckenstein's many spaceports. The planets today boast more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Though its crime tends to be white collar and nonviolent, Beckenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because few people immigrate from expensive planets without having a job lined up. Interesting. I guess, yeah, the cost of living is so great that unemployed workers typically leave for kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as tougher, sharper, and more skillful than the rest, as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can make it on the beck, you got them by the neck. That'll do. That'll do. It exists in space. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I wasn't thinking that the Mr. person- Bruce is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel I the would... weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light. Speed. This guy does not need to be yelling this hard. Kiloton bomb. Like, what is, is it? Three times the yield I can feel of the his spit from over here. Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, <laughs> sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Oh. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. Okay, this is fantastic. That could be a ship or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. Oh, you can you imagine? On this, you are ruining Maggie missing her Air Force day, days. Somewhere and sometime. Sir that Trainee, is sir. You damn targets. That oh. is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball Oh, it. I thought it was Chong. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Wow. He's done. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris oh, slug. Nope. Feel the weight. He's doing it again. Every He's doing it again. He's telling the whole I'm thing sorry, again. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove okay. any biotic amp you might be wearing. All right, let's go what? check out this. Why? Bad Tamar sir, Saddles. Thank you for the follow. Welcome the in, by the way. Me to yes, sir. It's a good it's speech. It yours? just doesn't need to be so loud. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have Weapons to. Weapons detectors. Yeah. Don't remember those from last time I was here. Upgraded security. Oh, that's true. We never had Shut that before, down. did we? What? It's the knife hand. Do you seriously think? Yeah. Okay. Sorry oh. for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. Well, I am. I don't know how to tell you this. Where's the pork chop? Sigh. 
technically I was. I'm not surprised. This is annoying. <laughs> technically. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. Also, He's just past the scanners on your right. Where can I reinstate my life insurance? Because this is some bull. I think we did naturally start a reinstatement because we got that email from You'll them, right? You have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything. Ask my basic training asked. instructor why so loud I only if one you time. Have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, and that was the I end of it. Of it. I tried to, like, no, sir, be the it. least noticed. I just tried to, like, my goal was that my trainee and, or my training instructor didn't even know I was there. You know? Just completely blended. Port shop. Thanks for the stretch, by the way. Wow, look, Csec. This looks so different. Captain Bailey. I know. Rumors of death have been dot, dot, dot. And this goes back to during my death. Uh, like, I wasn't match. Like, were they matching my 401k? I don't know. Instructors. Oh, so Mary. Wait, Garrus impersonators. Turians? Because there's a lot of Turians? Kale, thanks for the follow. Hey guys, give me one second. I gotta go grab um, like headache medicine or something. I don't know what is going on, but I'm getting it insane right here. Being a ghost in a loud crowd. I And honestly, I think I achieved it up until like week five when I sneezed in formation and I've never heard the end of it. I never, I, I, I couldn't help it. It was a bodily function. Justin, thank you for the follow. All right, give me one. Because this one's bad. TJ. You guys. TJ and Bear with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. And Anon with the gifted sub to Cerverian. Anon, thank you. Bear and TJ. Guys, thank you. I know. Tell my headache to go away. Cause that's like the one, that's like the one thing. Like I can stream when I'm sick. I can stream in any circumstance, except when I get like a killer um, sinus headache. It's just, no, I don't think I'm sick. No, and I've been drinking plenty of fluids and stuff. Nash, what's up? Welcome back in chum. There's a bug going around. Got a sinus headache a few days ago that lasted for a while. Yeah, that's like the only, cause you guys know when you start getting like sinus headaches, bright lights, it kills me. She... I partied too hard with Ginger yesterday. I did. That was it. Hungry Snake, welcome back in. And Machu, thank you for the hydrate. I actually need to go grab more water, but... Mm. It's because of the damn phone. What about the damn phone? J-Rocks, have you given Torgal his pets yet? I'm always giving him his pets. Maybe not as often as most people like, but I have. Did take too much. I did. Here we go. Yes, I see the problem yes. already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Okay, well, you're not worried. I'm some imposter claiming to be me. Well, that's a good point. We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Can you fix it? So they know it's me. Ah. As Tullius in Skyrim? Oh, I don't know. I've never played Skyrim. Also, Moose Eye. And yes, I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration oh, to gotta regain be access me. to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Uh, but I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here and we call it done. Is that illegal? Uh, you think that I'm trying to tax evade by being dead? Walk him high. <laughs> Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a massive uh -huh. useless hard copy paperwork to get to oh, the I'm same place? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The council it. does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes oh. things need to get done without a committee vote. Wow. Do it. That'd be great. I like it. Done. You're good to go. Oh, some of the side character dialogues. I think every dialogue has you been so well done. You should head up to the done. Presidium, though. The council Offer. would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. 
I, this is a whole new place too. Father, welcome back in. Tax evader. Tax evasion is great. <laughs> How do I get there from here? Screw the council. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're I think all we right. do have a few friends. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, <gasps> oh, yeah. something else you need? Okay, I'll go back or and see Anderson. Get back to work? Oh, let's do ask about all of this stuff, though. Spending a year dead for taxes? Oh, no. Sovereign's attack. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. Django. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. He's a chad All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Really? Tasery ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Hmm. But yet it looks completely different. It's not that bad, Broadway. Get to the council. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay, and then Zakara Ward. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. I want to go see There's the Belcor. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinnekeeba. The Elcor, not Belcor. <laughs> Combination. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. Quarian? Abusing suspects? I overheard your conversation. And see, I scream space. a little. This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. <gasps> Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Velcro? Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. Okay. I don't say I disagree, but dang. We've run into another renegade. Sharpie, another month in the cage of no hope of escape. You hope to escape? Sharpie, thank you. What is going on with me today? Sharpie, thank you. I cannot believe it's almost been three whole years and a tier three as well. Sounds like me when I feel like that's what's happening. Like today is my really bad day of not having energy drinks or something. I don't know. Humans in CSEC. Last time I was here, it there is. were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Hmm. I should be going. All right, I'm out. You My eyes are so wide. Me. I should be going. Yeah, I'm trying to get through an entire month without an energy drink. Determination and stubbornness are synonyms. Well, I want to at least give it time to see if my headache med like my head up my headache subsides. Oh, well, Venus still here. Obviously, like there's no reason why she wouldn't be, but I know. I wonder what Garrus thinks of the new seasick. That's a good point. Also, to Quack, what's up? Welcome in. The pupils were as big as gingers from yesterday. Kyosh. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara. Kyo, thank you. you and wind wrong. up, guys. This Thanks is the for best the place for food on the whole damn citadel. Oh, okay. Let's ask. High grade provisions. Quality. Oh, quality cuisine item used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. Let's grab it. Yes. Written by human author Drew Karp, the popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped and destroyed by human survivalist cult Cerberus. <gasps> I wish you could actually see them, but I'm going to buy them all. Revelations. Wait, wait, what's it? An energy drink alternative? What is it? It'll take a bit to kick in. I know XPS and I have a feeling it's going to take even longer with everything I'm doing. I know, one more week till the end of the month. But take care of yourself as well. What do you mean? With one more week. Also, thank you for the 500 bit. Mm. Can you actually read? Oh, they're actually books. They are. Oh, these are the Emmy books? Wait, that's so cool. Oh, Starfield. 
only thing that works for me is a headache is sleep. I know, I know. I, yeah. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. There's an animated movie. Okay. Drew Karp created the Mass Effect lore. He is the head writer. So they put a little, I guess, in, yeah, like that would be a little Easter egg towards it, like a little nod at that. And also Evelyn, yes, I hope you enjoy the 70 emotes. And Leo, thank you for the follow chief fine, as well. Fine. I just need to pick up some spices. I'm, I'm sure amino eventually. Sinister, if you, have it. you don't mix your spice chorality. Oh. What cooking school did you say you went to? I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? Fish Dog Food Factory? Ask for their tummy tingling to chunka sauce. Tummy tingling to chunka sauce. <laughs> oh my goodness, Emerson. No, we're not doing I'm going to try to save the loyalty missions. I'm going to try to collect the rest today and then save the lo loyalty missions for Saturday. Dodo, by the way, welcome back in. And Spazzy, you did say you were trying to go a month without energy drinks. Yes, five more days. Is it five more days? Is it only five more days left? The Turian is definitely male Shep's voice. Just added the... Yeah, you're right. I feel like the Turians are all dressed too too similar. I mean, I guess it's the uniform. The uniform's kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie. Spazzy, thank you for the bits as well. You're right. Just five more days. Galactic a news. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former mm -hmm. council races. While no formal statement has been issued, the, the council, council has made, made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. I see. Oh, check out the spaceships. Why do they look so, I don't know, it looks like it's strange. There's something weird about it. I know, it's a week left in the month, hence the first comment. No, 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 I'm tracking now. I'm sorry, you guys, my brain is scattered. I know. The shopkeeper doesn't get around. Get out of my shop. The shopkeeper. Hmm. Who, me, Master Punk? Looks like the sports spaceships. Kind of is giving me Ferrari vibes, just a little bit. Bad timing, what's up, welcoming. Oh, look at the map. The map looks so cool. All right, so let's look at, I think we need to, Saronis, Phil. Phil with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Narcissus got one. Gerudo. Gerudo. And also Morgan got one too. Guys, I hope you all enjoy the sub and the emotes. And Phil, welcome back in. Thank you so much. Solar electronics. Oh, wait. Do you think we can buy one? One of the models? Ninja. Phil, how have you been? I feel like... I've seen you just here and there. You ship salesman, never mind. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships. I need to find more of the little models. Only slightly used, yes. HK, have a good night and have a good day. Wait, good workout. Have a good workout. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, how so, Master Punk? Galactic news. Oh, <gasps> L-Cores! I wonder if they still have, like, the club. Let me see the map again. Warehouse, Serta Foundation, Saronis. I don't know what I'm thinking, by the way. Also, you guys, it's not on, um... It wouldn't be on Saturday. It'd be on Sunday. Zakara Cafe, CSEC. Captain Bailey, we just talked to. We have... I guess we should just go to a transit, I would assume. Chores Den. That's what it is. Moons, I think so. Cause like for me, it's like whenever I like to stream, so I like to be drinking something. With confusion, I thought you knew. <laughs> what? No. All I heard Verana say was pick up a module. Maybe not as much. Mm-hmm. The Dark Star Lounge. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the schedule? <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening. I'm dying. Um, yeah, no, no, no. It's um, a birthday celebration for my dad, so I can't stream Saturday, but I'll be back on Sunday. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, 
Shepard. Marab? Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off I the death. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. He's he's kind of like the happiest looking Salarian I've seen. Vakis, thanks for the follow. Do you say you were at the beach for a little bit, Phil? That sounds so nice. Let's see with catnip. Yeah, Papa Casta. This one was a big one, so he has a big birthday party. Are you sure? Wait, wait, wait. Am I sure what? I I know. I'm just going to try. I'm going to I'm going to I'm fine. One in endorsement purchases. You should give me a discount. Who is out here using their Renegade to get discounts? Is it even going to work? I don't know. You noticed a man selling ramen? Was there a food selling place? Oh, four times. That sounds incredible. And Narcissist, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes and welcome in. And Lard's here. Who's the lizard with the go fast glasses? You haven't seen Thane? Thane is giving me Thrawn vibes, I kind of think. Yeah. He's the Drell assassin. My dad and Ginger do have birthdays on the same day. However, we moved Ginger's to the 23rd. I'm pretty sure her real birthday is the 22nd. You know, you can never be too, too sure. We celebrate on the 23rd because a long time ago, my dad was like, I won't share a birthday with gingivitis. Purchases, endorsement. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides Ooh, the most know. obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Sarah? D oh, wow. I'd be thrilled. I'm milking but that I one. I think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I feel like I'm, I'm taking Commander advantage Shepherd, of this guy. And this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so <laughs> much. The hustle, I guess so. My dad seems to love cats. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite sure. Oh, sellout. Hashtag ad. Hey, thanks. Thanks for the follow. Welcome uh, my in. My favorite customer. What right. can I get you? Let's actually I'd buy like some buy stuff. Something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. No, but why can't I just place my order with you? <sighs> What's your job then? If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves what faster through his expensive eye? fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. They guys taking over. You're allergic to cats. I feel like I started to have like an allergy. It was just my suspicion on it. All right. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. At least they aren't direct competitors, Nintendo. Tech damage. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at it. Okay, plus 20% tech damage. That's a lot. I don't know. That's a lot of money. Ranger, we're good. The art. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Reduces the recharge time of your powers by 5%. I like that. Shepard is truly being an influencer. <laughs> damage protection. That's not bad. I think I can afford both of these, right? And this is my favorite stream on the Citadel. Oh, is that where that quote comes from? Or is there actually like a point where I actually say that? Or was that it? They got fancy elevator music for shops now. Now I understand uh, I'm Kat's thing. That's what her bio says. This is my favorite. I didn't say this is my favorite stream though. She didn't say this is my favorite stream on the Citadel. But it's just, yeah, it was the reference to it. Basically. Bubamon, thank you for the hydrate. Um, I guess I'm just gonna, just this gonna do interesting. it. interesting. I'll get more money, it'll be fine. Plus he was giving us some kind of discount, right? Had to have been. It's 150 for both. You have 350 and there's five other merchants you can go shopping at. Welp. Oops, dropped all my money on the first merchant. Hmm? All the helmets make them look like they're members of Daft Punk. 
Some of them have really cool outfits and then other ones are just so-so. I feel like some of them could be better. I wish you could collect all the keepers. <gasps> do you think there's gambling? Oh, what there do are you other think, shops. Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. I know the you reapers are attacking. Like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? That reminds me of the conversation from the first one. Remember we walked into those two people's conversations? Aiden, Aiden, hi. Also, it is high. Have some safe funds for the probe addiction. <laughs> we haven't run any probing today. Good day, citizen. Welcome to Yet. the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. Want an endorsement? I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. Should with I respect, do this for all of the them? The foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. Oh. You know, it would make your services more popular. Oh. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You are Shepard, aren't you? This is insane. I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Okay, Just here we go. Just to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Oh no, Thank this you. is gonna come back to bite me in the butt. Cryo, I saw Ronin. Oh no, and I'm stealing her employee discount. How else am I gonna afford all of them? Life support webbing? Increases health by 10%? Guys, come on. I'm gonna sell out on the count or the Citadel and then I'm never gonna come back. If every store is your favorite, nothing is your favorite. Okay, how else can I put this, you guys? It is me. What is my favorite game, chat? Like, come on. If there's anybody that would do this, it would be me playing Shepard. And this is my favorite game on the Citadel. And this is my favorite game on the Citadel. No, this is my favorite game. Favorite store is the last one you visited. My favorite store is whatever I'm currently in, in the moment. We can this use this. Of the season. All right, done. Omni tools. True. <laughs> really getting her existence out there. Look at my weapon on the back. It looks so funky. Okay, Wouldn't let's see. Refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now. Does it have caffeine? Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. I feel like it's. Just got a refund it, in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. Every game I play no, becomes a They said to go to the warehouse. <laughs> this is the warehouse. I. They have like two conversations, and then they stop. Let's see what's in the. Tori, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. There's definitely a lack of gaps out here. There's a lot of space in her heart for all the favorites. That's why I would tell you guys, my heart is so big that I just have too many favorites for my own good. I don't want to do anything. I'm telling you the advertisement is going to go on or the advertisement's going to happen and then that guy's going to realize I played him. But I also clean them out of everything. really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? The dialogue is, the dialogue triggering is finicky. I could see this that. Oh, this is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Oh, what's going Sorry. on? Sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. Okay. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to. I feel stop. like I recognize that voice. Take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. Oh. I apologize. Query and opinion. You say you're falsely accused? Let's see. I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Mm hmm. You look at ships a lot? Maybe it fell. Also, Mr. Wolfman, welcome in. Hello. Wait, wait. Whiskey Tango actual Foxtrot is a floppy pickle? Uh, wait, what do you mean? For like a spoiler? Hold on. Maybe the chip fell out? We ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chip fell out of his pocket there? Yeah. I guess. Sure. All I know is I didn't take it. I don't know. She's seeming a little... Uh, Little aggressive. Also, do you guys hear the meowing in the background? 
and they know. To ask for special days off, but I never got money or food. Gasp. Oh, it means you talk about floppy pickles a lot. I don't speak. Yeah, no, no, floppy pickle is um, just my code word. It's basically just like a random combination of words that I wouldn't normally say. So that's when chat knows that they can give me a spoiler for the question I'm asking. Yeah, you guys hear that in the background. DC, thank you for the gifted sub to Pickle and Anon with the gifted sub to DevGrow and to Mr. Wolfman. Guys, I hope you'll enjoy the sub and the emotes. I'm sorry I'm kind of like struggle busting today. The sound of the taxi shuttles, is that what it is? They need some WD-40 or something. I don't know what's happening there. Let's get the C-Sect opinion. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool Mr. Thinkage, thanks for the follow. Shit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. I'm sorry, what? The you say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. So? She just ran into you? How does running into you mean she stole your credit shit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Clanless. All of them. Sounds like he's just juicing. Mister, yeah, I can see what people follow, but welcome in. You didn't have to say anything. You're good. I hope I see. She just ran into you. Investigate. Did you leave it at the store? Let me see. Did you leave it at the store? Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Did you double back? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. All right, let's look I'll into it. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. Oh. Oh. All we can to resolve this. <laughs> we don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. I've been demoted to the civilian sector. Let's right, go. Be careful out there. Dang. Fine credit shit. That's actually a piece of our journal. So, okay, maybe we can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Assignments. Crime in progress. Where is it? I can't unhear it now that it's in the background. Safnir. I heard when it said... Shit, was shit. Yeah, I'm thinking it's back at the store, maybe. Project Firewalker. Oh, that's right, DLC, DLC. Spencer, welcome back in. Do I look like a civilian to you? Being treated like I'm a contractor. The Assassin Salarian family and data. I guess it's not actually a thing. I don't see it. Meow. Coyote, what's up? Welcome back in. I think I that's gonna hand go into my pocket. When I checked my credit. Okay, I don't remember him gone. saying that her hand went into his pocket. I didn't even touch you. Elcor. <gasps> you ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Oh, you were lying. There is a guy making ramen. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. The meat isn't fresh six though. Kinds of beer on tap. Oh, that's nice. What kind of tap? What's on tap? We don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not want to hear drunk Elcor sing. <laughs> it's the crime in progress. How am I supposed to be able to find it though? It's gotta be on the ground somewhere. This is how, um, I'm gonna need this medicine to kick in stat. I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Who knows? You never... <laughs> Oops. You know what quote I'm Casta, like. and this is my favorite game on this channel. Okay. What? Oh, where was he? Let me go back you to the scene of the crime. Take his credit no. Jeff, thank you for the follow. Please. <laughs> 
please tell me someone clipped the Kasumi bit so I never live that down. I know, Aries. I know. I wish I could. This is why I should just I should just end it here because I know whatever comes out in the next few hours is not going to be top quality content right now. I just know my brain is not here with me. Where was he? I know. They've never known the wiser because they probably don't leave their own store. I can't imagine. You know what? I bet you somebody else took the chit and we have to talk to them or do something. Yes. Elcor, amazing. Like it would take a lot to get them drunk. You make a good point. Let me see over here and. Squad. Map. I don't know if it would be. I don't think it would be on the map itself. I feel like you'd have to be searching for it. The, <laughs> yeah. My brain is malfunctioning. Well, you guys know, it's like that thing when you're starting to get it, like a really bad headache and it's like the lights bother you, but then Mass Effect has really bright, like the whole screen is so bright. They mentioned the shop the Volus was visiting. Oh, okay. So it might've been, okay, wait, wait. So let me go back and ask him. Let me see. Mm. Let's go over here. Oh, Tori. Plus, my dog knows your voice. <laughs> wait, Tori, thank you so much for the kind words. And wait, did you just pop over from the YouTube side of things? And I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and the community and the content. And welcome, Shepherd, and this is my favorite story welcome to the Citadel. live side of things. It's something to do with the Omni Gel Maybe it's just somewhere. Right? Oh, hold on. That's why he asked us to go to Sarin. No, that's just Marib. So is it a I'm just going to run into the stores real quick and see. King, thanks for the follow. And Doom, Doom, have a good one. Thanks for hanging around. Okay, let's see, let's see. Shepherd, and the nerve enhancements say that there are occasional... I don't think it's any of these. I think I should just run, go back and ask him. Jake is fine. He's a Jake is fine. Are you sure you're being straight? Okay, let me ask them. Please Investigate. So let me just see where he was, Fuller. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. Yeah. When I left the Certa Foundation store... Certa Foundation. Right All right, let's me. go. I'm out. Be careful I'm out. There. Certa Foundation? Did we not go in... Oh, maybe that guy had it. I know. Anon, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Tori. Tori, now I hope you enjoyed the sub as well and the emotes and just everything. Mm. <laughs> I like that we're already up to 37, 13 more to go, lads and ladies. A raging koala. <sighs> it's not going to happen. Sorry, is this it? This is the applications. I believe it's this one. Certified Foundation. So... Interesting. Hmm. I just he's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I don't think it would be on the ground. I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not good day, citizen. Maybe we can ask Welcome her. Oh, Cerda we can Foundation ask her if she outlet on Zakir Award. Yes. Yes. Of all this was in here not too long ago. Fifty is not credit chip. And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Hmm. Oh, did I ever ask about the foundation itself? If everything's done by catalog, why are you Let's here? Let's see what she says Customer to it. Customer service. Leverage. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. Of all this was in here not too long ago. Okay, Thanks so there's nothing time. else with that. Come so now we need to go back Shepherd. and say you lied. Never seen that Thane skin? We... Is it a specialty skin? Should I not have it? Jonathan, by the way, hi. Yeah, we got Thane last time, Mr. Wolf. I'm yeah. legally obligated to inform you that okay, I'll Okay, so let's go back here. Please move along. Hmm. Well, now that I have that information, can I not tell him? Do you know who's telling me? My Omni tool. You know what Corins are like. I guess, maybe. You say she's still... She must have. Here we go. When I left the Certa Foundation store, she ran right into me. No, Let's we've go. added both of those. I missed something else. There's something else I'm missing with this. Maybe a uh, Quarian opinion, and then I can tell. You say you're falsely accused. Walk into the a minute later, he runs up with C sack and maybe accuses me it. of stealing his damn shit. Let's go. These are Be all the same ones, so it's not there. I asked about it. What did she say? Dissy, what's up? Welcome in. Oh. The game crashed? The game crashed. Uh, what? I think that's the first time it's catched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you're watching from the um, archive channel. Yeah. I think all of them are up to date, but yeah, if you ever tune in, I think most of them are updating or uploading maybe like a stream or two behind. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. As she said. All right, wait for it to pick back up. I know. No, 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 I think it... Oh, no, did I buy it yet? Okay, I did, I did. So they just did this. Yeah, good point. Let me actually save as well. Bad Arcane, thank you for I the... Trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades Thank you for the gift of stuff to a favorite I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people store on the, street, on the Citadel. I'm getting the good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Is that a bad place? No, not at all. No, absolutely not. That's what the that's what the VOD channel is there for. I'm glad that you guys are using it. Oh, Master Punk, please no uh direct spoilers. Okay, okay hold on. was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't, he purchase, didn't anything. purchase anything. Okay. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. What do you? So yeah, I feel like we just need to ask other poster? people what they've it's seen. Supposed to help with alien bacteria. Hmm. There's the keepers. That conversation keeps coming up. Nobody wants to talk over here. Shepard, and this is. Oh, maybe he got the store wrong. Yes, he you? did. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some side. environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. They're from I didn't the same. He left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Oh, okay, awesome. Thanks for your I'll time. I'll be here if you need anything. Nice. Okay, so he just forgot which place. Um, those are the two people from the side quest that were in the Citadel in the first one, right? When they grabbed us to the side and were like, "Hey." Uh. Tell us your opinion on this incredibly personal matter. Please move along. I found the credit. You got your credit shit at Saranus Applications. I was going to. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report. Are you kidding I'll me? I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Hold Are on. Are you too serious? Hold on. What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She oh. gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Whoa, the Quarian's neck just... You think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Oh! Thank you. <sighs> I wish I could give you something more than words. Will you be all right? The CSEC. <laughs> to be fair, have we met any CSEC we like? Well, Garrus used to be CSEC, right? Yes, I know. I need to do a sniper rifle playthrough, Mr. Wolf. I do. They're treated like criminals, as you can see. I feel like with Tally, we didn't see that can same thing. you take thing. care of yourself from here? But I it, guess. Yeah, it appears I mean, that way. Most nights I eat Jackets. nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But Aww. I'm surviving. Thanks. I want to bring her on board on our ship. Dark Kingdom, hi. Red Hood, enjoy the rest of your day at work. And also JP, thank you for the follow. And Jackus with the reset for three months in a row. Guys, thank you. Don't we like Captain Bailey? He's kind of, he's kind of cool. I mean, I like that he didn't want to deal with the, you know, all of the trouble of making, no, oh, of making me go get all of my, uh, papers again and everything he was just kind of like slid that under the table you know all right so we got that side mission done let's see let me go see anderson i really want to go see anderson i also want to go gamble do you think they have the slots here did i just jump at that shock <laughs> i did it scared me all of a sudden i don't know what's going on i am not on my a game today i'll tell you that much there's a warehouse back behind us the Serta foundation Applications, those are the stores that we just went to. Oh, there's a cafe in the middle area. Oh, Citadel souvenirs! Hold on! Where am I? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Citadel souvenirs! Okay. Back this way. We need to go find... Okay. Run up here. The sport drink machine dialogue. It was pretty funny. I think we've only heard it one time, though. Did we run up here? Uh, let's see galactic news i think it's back out here let me see final thanks for the follow yeah we just need to head to the other side 
Do you think there's an Elcor plushie? I was thinking another one of the ships. Oh, there's Bailey. Ah. Revolver, yes. <laughs> the instant noodles is a delicacy. Uh, we talk, no, Citadel souvenirs. <gasps> Here we go. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Buy a plushie of one Elcor. Want an endorsement? Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? Dead. I'm a former specter. My goodness. I didn't know specters quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? How about I just you say that I saved Shepherd? all of you guys from My Saren? Goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just the first voice loop. your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. Boja, boja, boja. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. <laughs> At the end of every TV commercial. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. Mm. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Okay. Thanks for of your course, time. citizen. A space hamster? <laughs> Wait, I can buy fish. Wait, a souvenir shop sells animals? I guess, a pet stop? Stop scamming everyone. <laughs> what you need to do that I've already done 10 times before. I know. Make this an alert? I know, I need to make an alert so you guys can play it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite stream on the- Oh my gosh, that is so cool, Cryo. I know, she has a statue of, um, Morden. I saw it on Instagram. Bessie and Sunfish. <gasps> this is what I really want. The Normandy SR1 model. And a Destiny, a small ship model from the Asari Dreadnought destroyed while defending the Citadel against Geth. I did it. That was me. I did that one. Model, a small ship model of the Geth flagship destroyed on the Battle of the Citadel. How can we not buy everything? Small, brightly colored fish native to the Asari homeworld. What if some of the fish don't get along with each other? And also, where am I going to store this hamster? I don't have a cage. I'm going to buy the fish. That's an expensive hamster. Also, how did he get back to the ship? Did I store so it in my pocket? One of the fish, or maybe a model ship? She did an endorsement for a podcast. To remind me of the Wait, city. that's amazing. It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Oh, oh, that's cute. The hamster is apparently a reference to some other game that I don't think I've played. What game? A hamster in your a pocket hamster. It's a space hamster. Cash a gal, what's up? Welcome in. And also, uh, Q, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I'm so excited. Do we have a do we have a model of the Mako? Mako model. Are filled with fish. No, they're not. Have you ever been up there? <laughs> no. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Oh! Wow. Just another tea time conversation with your buddy. Rapid transit. I believe we're going to the Presidium. Request a new squad member. Normandy Presidium. Factory district. Go to Presidium. Watch out, Ginger. Oh, Ginger would kill the space hamster. <gasps> here we go, here we go, here Shepherd. we go. Welcome Lash back I... to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It was actually the first thing. It was one of the first things I read, and I still just didn't respond to it promptly. It's, it's good been to a long see time, you. Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Oh, that sounds weird. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. You were the right choice. Get Udina to help you. What is this about? I do agree that y'all brought up a good perspective. Even though I like Anderson better as a person, Udina was more um, the political person. Nobody said this was yeah, going to be easy. That eyes. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. The but I doubt Udina would echo it. 
He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I feel like you're great. I don't get any sort of... The ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the council. <laughs> they veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. Mm. A bad trait for a counselor. What I'm is this still about? still not clear on why you wanted me to come. I didn't like him, but... There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. That's valid. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm surviving. I'm not thriving. I'm trying to save humanity. This isn't about Cerberus. The Alliance abandoned me. Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. It's the wild, but wild you west. Can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. I need your help. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. <sighs> there's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. Yeah. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Yes, her. The others have spent the past two they years did. convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. <sighs> yeah, uh, it was a little bit of Chad's fault. I was distracted. I didn't consider all the other lives. But I also, like, the, my decision with that wasn't based off of, oh, I hate the council, I'm getting rid of them. You know, it wasn't me trying to get back at them. What about all the evidence? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. You're saying it's hopeless? Can you help me at all? It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up, but I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only mm. so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. But can I continue I to work with Cerberus? I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I think it's just frustrating because the Council doesn't realize all that I'm doing to save humanity. And it's like, I don't need the thanks, right? But they also, like, actively are trying to stand in the way, almost. Thank you. It's a relic I don't need. Ooh. Spectre Shepherd. I don't know. Yeah, I was so focused on beating Sovereign. Yeah, exactly, Eric. It wasn't just that. Yeah, it wasn't me being just petty. No, no, do I really want for the discounts? Etria, Etria, welcome back in. Hmm. If I've saved or, canceled, or killed the council more, I want to say thank you. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming old from you, friend. it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Yeah. Anderson. Oh, here we, we go. We need to talk about... Shepard. Did you miss me? What are you doing here? Surprised? Now used to seeing ghosts, Sudina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I <sighs> hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Ooh. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Oh. Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Oh, Anderson's Sorry always so that. spicy. 
Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. No apology here. <laughs> Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, mm. he knows who can make it happen. Plus, Whoa, he's always Citadel happy so... to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. <laughs> yeah, I bet he is. Ah, <laughs> uh, the damage to the Citadel. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Looks kind of Still nice. counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Reaper technology. No, simply not at all. Dara, you need to put him on a garbage planet. We need to just drop him off at another planet. I wonder, let's see, um, let me see if I can get the... I almost said the Invisible Man. <laughs> see if we can get Cerberus to, uh, kind of bait the collectors to just happen to stumble upon the planet I drop Udina off at. Captain Thickrod, welcome back in. Are the Keepers even doing something? Five more years? They are trying. They've got little hands. Do you know how much work you can get done with small hands? You know? The remains of Sovereign. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. Mm. It was chaos. With who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. <laughs> Instantly. How have you been, though? The war with Gast. I knew we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. Mm. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Ayo. Ayo, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Thank you and welcome back in. They could carry a whopper with their small hands. That is true. The keepers think of humans as ghosts. They just feel the cold breeze of walking by. Ash on horizon. Panda, welcome back in. With four eleven hands, nonetheless. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. Thank you. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. Oh. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm but sorry. You were spying on me? I mean, I wouldn't expect him not to, but the Brookies... I we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. <laughs> I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. Dang. That's crazy to me to think that there's nothing that can prove that. Quite the politician thing to do. Burying their heads in the sand. Mm. Oh, Kit, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate that. He saw you and your HR complaints. Also, I feel like I need to make a trip to HR. I do. How have you been, How though? the last couple years treated you? Mm. Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. I do feel like I kind of... Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head that. against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? There's no way he would come with me. There's no way. But I could throw it out there. What are you trying to do, Ray? And like, if, the only, if only the council was open to listening or changing their mind. They don't even want to listen to us. Yeah, I can't wait to be able to, like take all three games and and kind of 
look at Council as a whole and judge them off of all their actions throughout all three? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help Skiddo. me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Okay. Much as I complain, I've got an important nice job to do here. The, background? the front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Fair enough. Of course, Shepard, I understand. Fair enough. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. <gasps> Did we ever trust them to begin with? No. Do HR complaints even matter? I, wait, wait, with Cerberus? Probably not, honestly. I don't know. I'm. It's uh, interesting how they make you feel with Cerberus as well. Oh, and have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. I feel like you're kind of conflicted because you don't instantly like them right away. It depends. I reckon it depends, too, if you've done a ton of side missions in the first one or not. You know? And Mr. Clutch, thank you so much for your gifted sub. Paying forward your gifted sub to Svad as well. Hmm. Mr. I really appreciate you paying that forward. And YM, welcome back in. Rodriguez. Um, okay. Cerberus has no HR. On the map on this side, though. Wait. This is the same Dark Star Lounge. I feel like I need to ask if they have if they have gambling here. Yoda, Yoda, welcome back in. Good to see you. I'm glad to see you got into Thane's character. Yeah, I'm bringing him along right now. I like him and Morden the most, absolutely. Say anything so incredibly inappropriate once years ago. The chat decided she jumped the shark and needed some form by doing the HR complaints. I don't think I've ever been that evil. Did I do the side quest in ME1? All but one bad timing. I did all but one. Dark Star. I did. I even enjoyed the conquest of the purple egg. I did. All about Garrus and Grunt. I, yeah, I haven't been bringing Garrus as excited as I was. I love Morden. I do. So looking at our journal, we've got quite a couple things here. Pie, hi. Banana is here. Garrus is still calibrating, which is why he doesn't come on the missions. I'm never going to forgive him for that one. ME2 was the first ME game I played. Oh, right. We had talked about that, why that happened for a lot of people. Uh, so I had no idea why everyone was so opposed to Cerberus. Yeah, but even even knowing what they had done in the first one, um, it kind of puts you in a pickle. It reminds me a little bit of playing as Abby in Last of Us 2, where you're thrown into a different perspective. And because to me, I don't see... Like, Cerberus has their moments, but... It's not as cut and dry as I think it appears in the first one. In the first one, I... In the first one, when they created it, they had to have known the route they were going with Cerberus in the second one, right? Dark Star is pre-Star Wars science fiction movie. Dark Star? What was the other one? What was the other movie we're going to do for a movie night? I played the second one first. Oh, great. I didn't know that. Oh, finding out about Garrus. That's so true. You wouldn't have that same, like super excitement when you saw the characters come back yeah doctor what's up welcome back in did i romance anyone yes i did the sorry the sorry i did admiral kohaku it was my favorite he was great he was my favorite citizen in the realm in the realm in the world in space so we have Kasumi stealing my money, so we need to travel. I kind of want to do this one, because that means that we'll get her back if we do this mission, right? Oh, Jack's story was cool. I like Jack's story. Oh, let's go back to Normandy. Let's party! <laughs> Stop, what's up? Welcome back in. I was lucky to play ME1 first, but then I could transfer the data. Dang, I didn't think about how... The dialogue would be pretty different if you didn't import the previous one, right? It would be almost like an... I wonder what their neutral dialogue option is. And then if you didn't import your data, how would it decide what were the consequences from the previous one? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I reckon I have new messages. 
Hmm. Nothing in here. Or flags. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't need to retrain powers. It's like the last of this. Um. Well, Kaden is dead. Liara, you'll do. I wish I kind of hadn't romanced anybody, to be honest. No messages. To be for completely you. honest. Let's see where this is. I also feel like I should probe a couple planets. Interactive comic you could play to make the big choices in ME1 if you, oh, if you started from ME2. Oh, so that kind of countered it. You could just select major choices starting in ME2. I see. In some ways that would be kind of interesting because you wouldn't have as much of the backstory, right? Brunsa, uh, they have a comic book. Okay, I saw that, there we go. That was the thing that I decided to skip, right? I come back to Liara Slander, I'm sorry. Zoom. Wait. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boltzmann. Boltzmann. This is zero right now. Zoom. All right, where's my book? If you're not room. <laughs> I actually, I feel like I wasn't gonna romance any of these. <laughs> it's kind of hard to romance somebody in the games. You're slightly nice to the crew member and you're suddenly in a relationship. I like stumbled and the next thing I know, I was in bed with her. I don't know. I didn't, <laughs> it was, it was something else. All right, this is Boltzmann. Do I have to wait? Um, I think so, Ray. I'm not quite sure how you would add months to it. I'm sorry I'm not any help with that. No, 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 that is not an HR complaint to say what happened. That is not an HR plus. I'm gonna need you to minus that one. There's no... What? Ricky Ticky, welcome back in. Uh-uh, that's gonna be a removal of that? It's how I said it? No, that is not an HR. These are... Lies. I didn't even talk about the consort. I could have talked about the consort and I couldn't even do that. Oh, there is one. Thooft. <laughs> Sounds like a sound effect noise. Thooft. Technically named the Hooft. Dutch for the head. Thooft is a door. Thooft is a dwarf planet with moderate carbon dioxide atmosphere and rich deposits of periclos. Periclos? Originally put on star charts when a human scout ship needed to discharge its drive core and wasn't able to reach the system's gas giants in time. Thooft has seen some development from Hoshi Chiri Heavy Industries. Periclase from the asteroid can be found as a common industrial product such as industrial cable insulation and fire resistance prefab housing walls. I'm gonna need you to remove that one, okay? I do not agree with this. I've let you guys I've let you guys get away with adding a lot of silly HR things, but I do deny this one. It was an accident. We're only looking for high rollers, okay? Like, we can- Oh, there. Launching well, probe. I guess we have plenty of probes. I've never actually read every single planet description. I learn things in your streams. I feel like a lot of people have said they didn't do that, and in y'all's defense, I think if I were playing this on- I don't know. If I was playing this on my own, I think I still would. I don't know. Probe launched. You never romanced anybody, Scott? Uh, it's Thooft. I almost did a no romance run. And Anon, thank you so much for the gift of subs to Banana, to Dirt, and Scotted. Mm, oh, 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 mm, oh, massive Iridium. Probe away. It's like face planting your pillow. Oofed. It sounds like that, right? Mm. Oh, are you gonna take me tonight? Wait. Oh, nice. Iridium. Probe away. Probing time. <laughs> oh, HR complaint because of the way that I said it. A9, thank you for the gifted sub to Lodge. Oh, that was massive. Nice. Launching probe. No romance run, worst shepherd ever. It's funny because I just wouldn't think this game had such a heavy, like that, I didn't think that was gonna be a heavy part to this game at all. Okay, corruption. 
There's really not a whole... Well, I mean, that's kind of a decent amount for Iridium and Palladium. Palladium. When it comes to space romance, you don't have to ask yourself, what would Kirk do? <laughs> the question is, do you think there's going to be space romance in Starfield? I don't know. All right, Thuft is done. Nice. Thuft, done. That's an HR complaint for mocking HR. HR sucks. All right, we've got Veltman, a hydrogen helium gas giant. Veltman is home to the Koshirotin enormous storm cells that appear as whitish spots and are visible as far away as Bekestein. As with most other colonized gas giants, Veltman's orbital space sports a variety of helium-3 refueling stations for merchant vessels. Of particular note among the orbital stations is the Di Dynamis Corporation's facility for manufacturing metastable metallic hydrogen, despite the risks involved in manipulating the powerful mass effect fields needed to do so. Citadel warships, which use the substance in their thrusters, can frequently be seen docking at Veltman as a result. This makes the Boltman system one of the most heavily patrolled in the Citadel space. Start the skip. If you're fighting to save the universe, it's only fair that you get at least a little some summon in the process. <laughs> well, Lord, wait, why am I getting another? No, these are, I'm going to be honest. I feel like all of the HRs are today have been not real. Absolutely not. I know, I actually think I'm getting sick. I'm starting to think that because between my nose and I feel like I'm running a fever all of a sudden. Not feeling too hot right now. <laughs> Alright, launch it. Probe launched. Alright, bring it up. And back down. Starfield and modders. <laughs> There's gonna be so many mods for Starfield. I haven't even thought about that. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh, nice. You're <laughs> Stop mocking HR and you won't get any more. Just gonna do a no talking playthrough so I don't get any HR complaints again. All right, right here. Launching Launch me. I know. Too much potting with Ginger. I don't know if I just didn't sleep well last night or what. I felt like this all this morning too. There's something in the air. Spooky season. Whoa! Launch it. Launching probe. Does that negate the slightly sus things she may or may not have said? <laughs> no, it does not negate it. Honestly, adds validity to it. Because it wasn't just me that thought it was sus. It was all of y'all. I am extremely hydrated. Extremely hydrated. Definitely have drank enough today. My, um... My face feels puffy. No, it's like weird. Oh, oh, oh. It's spooky Probe season launched. blue. Well, I would actually be okay with getting it now more than any, like any other time. I found this whole probing thing sort of relaxing. Yeah, Eric, I, I think it's a, incredibly relaxing. I've heard too much hyperspace travel at once. <laughs> Has negative effect on people. Is that what's happening? Oh. I know, better to get it now than in October. I can't get sick in October. Or even September. Because September is like the month that I, I have to... Like, because October... So whenever I do makeup looks for October, I usually start getting ready about two hours before stream. So that pushes back like all of my... I got to just get a lot of my recording for October done in September. All right, let's see. I think it's extremely relaxing and it's nice to know that you're doing it for a purpose, right? Like because you're probing, you're getting stuff towards, ooh, I, there's a vibe, I'm picking up good vibe. It's somewhere, I know it. It's up here, but maybe, maybe those are just good. I, it could be the start of something good job because I'm struggling. It's probably good change from the Mako missions, yes. This is a much easier way, and it makes you want to probe all the planets. It makes you want to explore all of them. Oh, I think that was the one I was looking for, right? Nice. Probe. DMX, thank you for the follow and welcome in. False report. 
There are... Okay, thank you for deducting one. Okay. I think Veltman's good to go. Veltman. Done. Nice. OCD won't stop probing until you have every single planet depleted. I just go off of like the exploration too. Like I know I'm never gonna get all of it done. Thanks, good job. Yeah, we'll see. I'm. We'll see. Um. Fane man. Fane man. I do think the planets looked a little cooler in the first one. A hydrogen methane gas giant, Feynman, is one of the far less in interest, wait, wait, is of far less interest to the colonists of Beckenstein than its moons. All 24 are under heavy development by three rival firms, Hoshichiri, Heavy Industries, Something Solutions, and the Dynamis Corporation. These three firms are under ironclad contracts to sell their raw materials exclusively to corporations based on or orbiting around Beckenstein. A, a situation that has led heavy investment on Beckenstein from manufacturing corporations looking to get a piece of action. Feynman itself has been relatively untouched by the mining co concerns as its strong magnetosphere, magnetosphere and great dark storm cells create a barrier to all but the newest generations of scanners. Well, let's see if our scanners can do it. I'm going to add this one to the list. Planet scanning sounds so good in Andromeda. They look great. I can, I'm actually excited to try it. I want to play it. And little Dave, thank you so much for the reset for eight months in a row and welcome back in. Hello. Although maybe that's them saying like, hey, you're not gonna pick up a lot of stuff because you have to have like next level probes to get it. Ooh. Oh, oh, hold on. But we do have to probe all the planets. Launch, probe. Launch me. I need to 100% the entire galaxy. Oh, oh, hold on. That's kind of high. Oh, nice. Probe away. I need a pronunciation class after. I know I mispronounced the, the simplest of words. I'm telling you, I my IQ drops so much as soon as I hit start stream. It's like I forget how to probe. think. Oh. Oh. I think a lot of it too is um, it's hard when you see words that you've never said out loud, you know? Probe away. Little Dave, thank you so much for the thousand bits as well. Bigger probes got it noted. <laughs> Little Dave, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, That's like there's some words in F FF16 that you hear, but you've never, I've never just seen them or had to read them out loud. Um, Probe away. Really bad dark star. It's getting worse. Gotta become a, <laughs> I'm gonna become a probing master. You might like Andromeda. They fixed most of it. It's too bad that it... Wait, wait. It just didn't click enough with me, though. Is it because you compared it to the old ones? Or, like, why do you think it didn't really click with you as much? <laughs> Spazzy, I appreciate it. Mm, I also just, I, this is my problem is I need to also know when it's okay to like take a break. All right, I think I'm gonna grab this one. Bear with the gifted sub to palladium, 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 palladium. Pandemonian? Pandemonia. I know. <laughs> Keep typing out fly swatter is fly swatter. Wait, what? <laughs> she would type out fly swatter in a text too. Launching That's probe. cute. It's kind of those things that are just like, I don't know. I, you know, that's kind of part of the charm where it's like, I don't know if if somebody's gonna judge or or laugh because of the way I pronounce something, then that's good. If it makes you laugh, then great. Reading out loud is uh, incredibly vulnerable. That's why we never like to do it in class. Not cute, not cute. <laughs> oh, it wasn't like that, oh. That's like uh, when I was a kid, I always, I always would say, I thought I was saying, but I digress. But I would say, but I digest, and my dad's never let me live it down. <laughs> it followed. 
Wait, wait, if one of the top sci-fi arcs in any game, so really had no choice to live up to, for Andromeda specifically, this is what's happening. Yeah. Brute, thanks for the hydrate. Hold on, I don't have any water. Hold on. Let me, okay, I'm gonna finish off the little last bits of this for the hydrate. It's not good. Doctor, what's up? Welcome back in. The Jets. Gesta, the gesticulism, Victor. <laughs> it's a uh, Wheeler. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wheeler. <laughs> Let me think, how can I mispronounce this? Wheeler, <laughs> Mr. Whippies. Wheeler. All right, that's them. They're Wheelers right there. It's actually a really interesting story. Oh wait, wait, that's a response to Eric. If my brother or dad did that, I would never let them digest it either. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was like, I was like 10 and I was always trying to like, I don't know, I always tried to probably be older than I was or like follow along with the conversations of my parents or my brothers. Wheeler is a sizable rock planet. Its atmosphere is a hostile mix of hydrogen and carbon monoxide, which poses little hazard to remote robo mining. Modern equipment can easily tolerate the planet's temperature and gravity. Wheeler's crust is rich in bauxite. B bauxite? and other light metals used in fabricators the galaxy over 165 celsius nice what is um bauxite what is that shout out to the family guy fans oh wow i haven't seen family guy so oh that's so nice i need time to digest commander <laughs> why am i putting emphasis on the h wheeler wheeler probe away mr quippies this is a rich planet. This is so nice. So nice. Cool whip. No, I'm doing it because there's, ah! Woo! There's a really cute kind of, um, I guess I'd say, I guess I'd say like Sea Town. Um, if you've ever heard, I feel like it's still, I think it was actually voted as one of like the best kind of more secretive beaches, but there's Shinkatigue and Assateague Island. And there's a ice cream shop called Mr. Whippies. I think it's Mr. Whippies, but we always Watch just emphasize probe. the what, where, whip, who. Probe launched. I'm more of a South Park kind of guy. I haven't seen those kind of shows in a while. I, I would say family, or family dad, American dad. One of the dads. Something and something dark side. I know. Is a sedimentary rock with highly, relatively high aluminum content. It is the world's main source of aluminum and gallium. Interesting. What is gallium used in? Maybe I really should have paid more attention in science class. But I'm like, I'm late to the game, but I'm catching up, you know? I'm willing to learn. Probe launched. American <laughs> I can never get over. Oh! Probe launched. Family Dad works. <laughs> New spin-off show. Is used in electronics. It's common in semiconductors, transitors, and very small electronic devices. Gallium is able to turn electricity into light. Oh, so it's used to make LEDs. Cool. See, I'm learning something new today. Today I learned. I think we could get that small deposit. Launching probe. Yeah. That alone shows you have decent science knowledge. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. The ASVAB's not the hardest test in the world. <laughs> but I appreciate that. No, I just I never leaned into science when I was a kid. I don't know why it didn't um didn't appeal to me. I think the problem was is uh, I was in like the only classes I wasn't in like AP or advanced classes was science and so in turn oh I'd have a lot of my friends in those classes so I feel like I just like get distracted or stuff I did I do however really love um I actually do enjoy like anatomy and understanding our structures as bodies like I do enjoy that Reaper
Is there no end to your generosity? Reaper. <laughs> I've already cried today. Enjoy anatomy. All right, don't man. Come on. Reaper, welcome back in. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. Time for a daily indoctrination. Just thank you so much. The animation's pretty cool. I love the color red, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Probe away. Reaper, thank you. Earth science was my favorite subject as a kid. Oh, earth science? Okay, yeah. My, my cousin or my uncle, we were, we had like a lot of, my uncle always wanted kids and never ended up having them. So he was really active in our childhood and he loved taking us outside and doing a lot of geology and, um, yeah, just, he got us really into, I guess, studying Earth and all sorts of different things. Little Dave with the thousand bits. Guys, Little Dave, thank you so much for the thousand bits. I feel like I am, I, I am so low energy right now, you guys. I do not deserve this. Aren't dinosaurs already included in prehistoric things? <laughs> dinosaurs? I haven't really actually ever looked into dinosaurs too, too much. I haven't even seen all of the Jurassic Parks. So we need to do an old school Jurassic Park day. One. It's not Monday. Haven't I already? I've always told you guys that um, Thursdays are like my Mondays. Okay. I know we have Beckenstein. Beckenstein. It's Frankenstein. Let me pop out real quick. I party too hard on the catnip. I think I'm, I maybe I'm just coming down with something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I don't feel up to par. My parents, was there a TV show or a movie that your parents stopped you from watching because they realized it wasn't for kids? My example is the Tony Hawk games, the secret hell ship and a strip club section. This is gonna be really, really weird. My parents never let me as a kid watch the Goosebumps show. It was, I was never allowed to see that and I was never allowed to see the second Temple of Doom. And those were like the two things. Oh, I'm going way too far out. I don't know how to describe it. There's two inside of here. Oh, we do need to go. Yeah. Yeah, they thought it was too scary. I couldn't watch The Simpsons when I was... Wait, wait, when I was a kid. But Braveheart, yes. But my, my dad showed me Braveheart. Yes. And now I love Michael Myers, so we see what happened there, so... Yeah. They let... That's the interesting part of it all, is, like, they would allow me to read the books, but they wouldn't allow me to watch the TV show. Because it was one thing to read about it, and it was another... They also, I remember, after they found my, um... The stash of the, the secret stories to tell in the dark stuff. Yeah, that's the story it is. Never seen Temple of Doom, but Braveheart, which has some brutal parts in it. It makes no sense. Probably just a hangover from Raging with Ginger. <laughs> Not a hangover. <laughs> All right, I know this is the last thing. Beckenstein. But yeah, then he would show me stuff like, yeah, we would, I grew up watching like Hogan's Heroes, um, Gilligan's Island, lots of Andy Griffith. Also, <laughs> the Beverly Hillbillies. Was that it? Yeah, the Beverly Hillbilly. No, it's something. The Beverly Hill Hillbillies or something. Lots. It was one of those. I wasn't allowed to watch the movie because, oh, the I Know What You Did Last Summer? Yeah. No, not 90210. No. No. N7, no. I used to watch Rugrats, Frankenstein. Yeah. It was Beverly Hillbillies. Exactly. Matthew. What? Yo. Matthew. What the heck? Guys.
What are you? I already cried to Final Fantasy today. I will not cry to chat. Matthew, holy cow. The devil clicked. <laughs> uh, Matthew didn't mean to do it. He's he's honestly quadra clicked at this point. Oh my gosh, Matthew. Thank you so much for 200 gifted subs to the channel and community. Now I can't I can't leave you guys. <laughs> This headache's gonna have to just fight itself off. No, fresh welcome back in. Matthew, what are you guys doing? Ugh. It's Bra, welcome in. Panda, anybody that's gotten a gifted sub, I hope you guys enjoy the channel and community and please give Matthew a big thank you. It will buff out, <laughs> the headache will buff out. Y'all have been absolutely just on one. Chit, you got one in another stream? Little Dave. Two days to recuperate. I know. I know. Minded. Minded future. Anzu, guys, welcome in. Holy cow. Matthew, thank you. You're bananas. Like, what? Back in the day. Oh, no way. That's where it got hung over from. Um, I didn't know that. Well, I was going to, but I'm not going to. No, I was, well, I, <laughs> I was going to, but now my conscience can't end. No, I can't end stream. Mr. is here. Lukey, C Snuffer, welcome back in. Um, I just, I, I can see that I'm not like fully, I like the probing part, but I know when we're having conversations and doing the missions, I can feel like my, my head is just pounding. Um, you just read that yesterday. It was the new fun fact. Does anybody do the, has anybody been doing, I've been doing the wordles, but has anybody been doing the, there's a new one they started doing connections, leaving us. No, I, I, you guys know, I never, I feel like I hardly ever end streams early because I'm not feeling good. But you can, we won't blame you, da 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 much. I don't know what's going on. I between my like my nose and my eyes. I just feel like I'm not any fun right now, which is why I don't understand how you guys have been so generous. Coop. No, but I hate that I'm being defeated by a little headache. Like, I'm hard-headed, and so the fact that I feel like I'm being defeated by a headache makes me want to stay. You know what I mean? I'm that person that wears flip-flops in winter, and then is like, I wonder how I got sick in the middle of winter. My hair's wet, and I'm wearing flip-flops. What do you mean? Emerson. Microwaved strong beer. Good cure. That's a good cure. Avi, thank you. <laughs> London. Okay, that means I'm leaving because I'm not going to allow London to drop 200 N subs. <laughs> Bear with the gifted sub to always fun. Guys, thank you. Bitter reject with the hydrate. I have... Do I have anything left in here? I don't even... I have like the last drippies. The last drippies. Yeah, I just think that normally you can like fight through a headache for most things, except for something that requires you to be staring at a screen for this long. Clout. What is up with you and Matthew? I don't. <laughs> this month feels surreal. <laughs> Clout with a hundred gifted subs to the channel and community and squeezes. Squeezes with five more gifted subs. Squeezes, thank you so much. Great. I gotta get clout. Little Dave. <sighs> Guys. I'm crying from the pain of my headache, not from y'all. 
little Dave with the 10 gifted subs to the channel and community. Whiskey Rick. Whiskey Rick got a gifted sub. Y'all. This is unreal. Like, I feel like I need chat to pinch me. Spazzy. Lurk exercise time. I feel like that's a wrong chat command, but I wasn't in the mood for Cat Game of Thrones. Thank you for respecting the, the headache. Y'all. <laughs> I feel incredibly guilty for hopping off, but I just have a raging headache right now. And I tried. I took the headache medicine, and I'm surprised I even made it two and a half hours, you guys. Scooby Snack, welcome in. Cloud, Cloud, Cloud. Final Fantasy VII's done, and I'm still accidentally calling you Cloud. This is like when I said Final Fantasy League instead of Fantasy Football League. Cloud, Matthew. Mr. Wolf with the gifted sub to the channel and community as well. No, okay, London. No, I'm headed out. I'm headed out. Boobamon, R. Kelly. Y'all, I am really sorry for, for kind of ending stream really early. I was not intending this. I, I just also want to make sure that I'm never up here giving you guys what I perceive. I know you guys say always fun, but I can feel that I'm not following along, as you guys could tell from missing the person standing right in front of me. Um, so I'm going to recuperate. I'm going to come back. We're going to do Sunday. I do want to let you guys know that I think just it's not a guarantee, but Saturday, I'm going to see what time the um, the birthday party ends for my dad. And then depending on that, I might just pop on for a little bit and maybe we'll probe planets or something. Um, but thank you guys so much for the level 12 hype train and popping in. And thank you for all the gifted subs and just support. All right, I'm going to get my butt out of here. I'm going to go lay down any recommendations for blazing headache. Just don't look at anything. Just go to sleep. We do. Yeah, FF16 did just go up. And oh, I did want to tell you guys that tomorrow is the first episode of um, my next short. My next short game. It's called Daydream Forgotten Sorrow. And if you like little nightmares, I guarantee you will enjoy this playthrough. So that's up tomorrow as well. Well, his birthday was earlier this week when we went hiking, but it's his big 60. So we're doing like a whole family surprise party and everything for him. So yeah so i'm gonna be gone on saturday but i will be back on sunday and then i'll keep you guys updated if i do pop on maybe we'll just do some night cool cold and sinus puts me out pretty quickly i do have like i fall asleep really oh, electrolytes you think electrolytes for a headache i mean i've been drinking a lot but bad arcane best auntie rub the spot between your thumb and forefinger of the opposite hand of the headache really oh no way do you do i i've always loved reflexology with your feet, I guess. I don't know if reflexology applies to your hands. Does it do that? Shooft, warm bubble bath, and then bed with lots of chocolate. Chocolate! Clout, thank you. Aries with the hunter bits. It's completely understandable, Maggie. Hope you feel better and banter again soon. Aries, thank you. N7, thank you. Gatorade. All right, I'm going to do electrolytes. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to drink more water probably take some NyQuil and hopefully keep y'all's fingers crossed it's not a cold or maybe we do want it to be a cold because if I'm gonna get one I always get like one cold in the fall so if this is my one cold then I will be good because we cannot get sick in October okay or September so if this is gonna be a cold it needs to strike me right now hit me <laughs> hit me with your best shot it's all gone welcome in stock anti-inflammatory also, I'm going to do some tea. I'll do some bedtime tea. All right, guys. I love y'all so much. I will see you guys. I can hear it in my voice, too. I will see you guys on Saturday, possibly, but plan for Sunday. We are going to pick up the rest of the crew, or maybe we'll do the side missions for the characters we already have. Either way, it will be a lot of fun, and hopefully I'm back up and running. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for your time and the resubs and being here. And Matthew and Cloud just flying off the handle all right just hopefully no blue dream Ugh. the blue knees fever dream i know <laughs> all right guys i love y'all i'll see y'all this weekend and have a great friday okay bye